Many of us, we do not have a set timetable in our lives. We do not understand the importance of time. Allah the Almighty takes an oath on time, which indicates to the importance of time. Time is of essence in the life of a Muslim. We shouldn't be wasting our time. So we were talking about the importance of time in the life of a Muslim that many of us we do not have a set timetable in our lives we do not understand the importance of life and the importance of time Allah the Almighty has revealed a small chapter in the Quran the chapter of Asr Surah Al-Asr the chapter of time Allah the Almighty takes an oath on time and this chapter that Allah the Almighty has revealed only compromises of three verses. Imam Shafi rahimahullah, he mentions, if Allah the Almighty only revealed this chapter of the Quran, this would be sufficient for the guidance of humanity because it's such a comprehensive chapter in the Quran. Allah the Almighty, he takes an oath on time. He says, by time. Verily, man is in loss. Verily, man is in loss. When Allah the Almighty, he takes an oath, then that thing that he takes an oath on it indicates to the importance of that thing so allah is taking an oath on time which indicates to the importance of time that in time is of essence in the life of a muslim we shouldn't be wasting our time so allah further mentions that verily man is in loss verily man is in loss except for that person who is a believer so if you are a believer you are not in loss and then allah the almighty further mentions wa amilu salihat that that person who does good deeds, he is also not in loss. That person who does good deeds, he is also not in loss. And from amongst the good deeds, the five time daily prayers, zakat, hajj, fasting in Ramadan, doing good deeds, staying away from bad sins, whether it's <coughs> drinking alcohol, whether it's drugs, whether it's music, whether it's fornication, whether it's adultery, all type of sins staying away, all that falls under this. So Allah the Almighty is mentioning those people that do good deeds, do righteous deeds, those people are not in loss. Then Allah the Almighty further mentions and those people that encourage each other towards the truth. And under the truth, Islam, Quran and Hadith, whatever Allah the Almighty has ordered us to do, whatever the Prophet has ordered us to do, whatever Allah has told us to stay away from whatever the Prophet ﷺ has told us to stay away from all this comes under the truth so whoever encourages each other towards the truth and if we encourage each other towards the truth then we are not in loss and also those people that encourage each other towards patience so those that encourage each other towards patience they are also not in loss whether that patience is from sin so for example our desires are overtaking us and shaitan is whispering thoughts and telling us do this sin do this sin by that time we stay patient and we say no i'm not going to do this sin i'm going to act upon the commands of allah i'm going to stay away from his prohibitions i'm not going to let satan overtake me i'm not going to let my desires overtake me and you are patient at that time then you fall under this where allah says you are not in loss likewise if a person is going through bad times in his life if a person is going through testing and difficult times then at those times if he is patient as well then he also falls under this so allah the almighty mentions verily man is in loss Except for those who believe, except for those who do good deeds, except for those that encourage each other towards the truth, and except for those that encourage each other towards patience. I pray Allah the Almighty give us all the ability to understand the importance of time. I pray Allah the Almighty give us all the ability to make the most of our time and benefit from our life before death comes upon us. And I pray Allah the Almighty give us all the ability to act upon everything that has been said. Ameen wa akhra da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة